Hello, Craig Birch here at the Barclay Card Arena. Four seconds out where I have here. Look at that big belt as well. Cal Yafai, the WBA Super Flyweight Champion of the world. He's on home turf here at the Barclay Card Arena. Two days' time. Toguru Maranaka, his first challenger and so on. Cal, you look cool as a cucumber and so on. Even after meeting Maranka today, what are, you, what are your thoughts on what he had to say? It was odd. Well, he didn't speak much English. He's only for an interpreter. That never scares you, does it? So. No, no. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. He's going to come and obviously try and take... A bit of bling away from me. This bit of, that's more than a bit of bling, mate. Mr. T would be proud of that. Yeah, so. yeah, but yeah I just, I just got to do what I've, what, what I've got to do on Saturday night. Um, stay switched on and uh, and put in a disciplined performance. Of course, of course. Obviously, the last time, obviously, you, you know, Maranka's the job to do first and so on, but you're pretty confident you're going to get that done in style, aren't you? You know, the guy, I know the guy hasn't lost in 10 years, but he hasn't done a lot outside Japan, has he? So. No, so it's his first time outside of Japan. Um, yeah, we cope with it. Some people cope with it great. Some people not so much. Yeah. Um, but that's the least. My worries, you know. I just got. I, I, I always do what I do, and that's just worry about what I'm about to do on Saturday night, and that's it. Of course, of course. And obviously, the last time we talked, we were talking about Gonzalez, and you know that he was going to be, you know the end game at the end of it and then when he got beat I mean you know you, um, you told me you were going to stay up and watch that and so on you must have been very shocked at the outcome really or was, was that yeah. maybe doing his the guy who beat him a disservice no 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 it isn't he, it, was, it was a shock um, he got beat um, we've got a rematch in September so um, hopefully he can he can correct that loss and and sooner or later we can uh, Get it on. Yeah, yeah, he's someone you've got a ton of respect for, also. so he's obviously the guy you want to fight. He I means he's your hero in some ways, I guess, isn't yeah, he, Gonzalez? Yeah, you know, he's so. a guy I've been watching for years. Um, he's, a, he's an unbelievable fighter, but he's the one that I just think will make a great fight and a fight that I honestly believe I can win. Yeah, yeah. And when Gonzalez gets his belt back, you, 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 know, you want your shot at him, doesn't it? Yeah, so. yeah, unification, why not? WBC, WBA. Um, yeah. The two biggest belts. Why not? Of course, there's another two world champions to throw in the mix, so yeah. there's plenty to plenty for you to go at, isn't there? Yeah, so. there's plenty, yeah, so um, it's just making the right fights, uh, getting them at the right time, um, and for the right amount of uh, paper as well. So. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, if you had to go abroad to fight any of them, would you do that? The money's got um, to be right, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, so. the money's the most important thing, um, but, you know, I'm with the biggest promoter in world boxing at the moment, um, so I don't see the reason to. Um, if anything, they, um, they'll probably come here. Of course, of course. And I imagine your dream is just to unify all the belts in Birmingham as well. That would be fantastic, wouldn't oh, it? That so. would be unbelievable. Um, this is unbelievable itself, you know, having my first defence here in my hometown. Um, I'm very, very excited about that. Of course, of course. Excellent. Fantastic, Cal. We'll see you at the weigh-in tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time. See you.